Today we're going to visit the magical destination, a place that is frequently visited by the nomad community and a place that has a lot to offer. We are talking about the peninsula of Yucatan in Mexico, where the Mayan spirit can be seen, lived and felt in every corner. We are getting inside the jungle to discover the beauty of the cenotes and later on we're going to have a conversation with a little Mayan as he describes himself, who's going to tell us a little bit about his family and his beliefs. The word cenote comes from the Mayan expression cenot, which means covered with water. That's the name of these notable sinkholes that form by the collapse of the top of one or more caverns. It is estimated that in the peninsula of Yucatan there are around 6,000 cenotes. It has been proven that they are all interconnected and also they are connected to the sea. These water mirrors were very important for the Mayan culture. It is known that they were used for making rituals and also sometimes for human sacrifices. Nowadays, many cenotes are visited by archaeologists, scuba divers and of course tourists. And they are administrated by Mayan families who charge a fee for the entrance as a way of providing for their families. And speaking about Mayan families, let me introduce you to Jesus, a young guy who is very proud to have been born in the peninsula of Yucatan. He will talk to us about his family and about some of their cultural beliefs. Well, all my family is Maya. And the town I come from is called Chemas, Yucatan. Mm, there we have cattle, horses, all sorts of animals. All my relatives speak the Mayan language uh, and I'm really proud of being a little Maya. Well, many many years ago my grandfather used to tell me stories about the famous aluches, which are elves or something similar. The aluches are kind of rocks that are in charge of taking care of the town. If you are not good to the aluches, they will scare you, they will mess with your house sometimes. My grandparents taught us that we have to give them once a month an offer in an altar. These famous aluches are also the ones that take care of our meal pot. They protect them from animals coming in and eating everything we harvest. But we can't forget once a month, more or less, to give them one sort of drink that we call saca. And here where we are, they call it pozo. So that's what we do. The balan is similar to the alush, but it is in charge of taking care of us at night. They don't allow demons to go inside the town. They are in charge of taking care of the family that lives there. But as well, if you are not good to them, they can take people from your family. There's a case that happened to one of my uncles. These famous Balanes took one of his daughters. They hid her behind a sapote tree that we know here as Jack. They believe in luck, so they went to this man, I don't know if he was a sorcerer, and this man did a reading to them and finally told him that the girl was behind a sapote tree, but they couldn't see her. He was told to do a prayer to take some chicken, take some pozole, and do a prayer at noon, 12 o'clock, for the girl to come back. My grandparents did the prayer, they took everything they needed to give as an offer for the girl to come back. And as the man told him, as soon as they did this, the girl came back walking through the entrance of the town without anyone going to look for her. Well, so these are the famous Balanes.
Also, my grandparents have told me about and I have experienced the God of the Rain. If it hasn't rained in a while, we go to our milpa, we prepare some chicken, my grandfather knows the prayer, so he starts praying to the God of the Rain, so we can finally have some rain. Greetings to all the friends from ABC Latino. I feel proud to be part of this team, getting to know Lisa and Roberto.